Grand Teton right there from the Jackson Hole side. T minus two days and we're gonna climb that thing. Whew. So right now I'm standing on Snow King. This is the mountain that raised me since infancy. When I was born my dad put me on skis as soon as he figured out I was walking around he's like all right, time for some skis. And this is the mountain we would go to every every weekend, sometimes twice a week, and we would just shred. Um, this knuckle here that I'm standing on, I remember blasting down this way too fast and then just slamming into this old guy. My helmet popped off all of our ski gear. We just yard sailed and just slid down the mountain. And that's when I learned to, you know, mind other people. <laughs> <laughs> Look before you leap. This mountain taught me a lot of things. Um, this is where we. This is where the the race course was usually set up. Finish line right there. Um, this is where we would do the medals. This is where the train park would be right here. I remember one time, just picture snow, cruising down, going faster than normal. Decided to level up a little bit. Popped off the jump, going a little too fast and. Um, just went sideways and I remember slamming my head, probably got concussed, sprang my thumbs, goggles broke. Oh man, gnarly. How could you not love this? How could you not love this? It's dope. Speaking of dope, I'm gonna go do some work. <laughs> I was just stretching my legs. Oh man, reminiscing some good times on the mountain. Looking forward to climbing that mountain over there. Not really sure how this vlog, keeping up with this daily thing, is gonna go when I'm off the grid on the mountain. I think actually there's service up there, so I will do my best to film and post up there. Looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me. Let's go launch some fireworks.